The word kadungol or kodungol will indicate a rule where there are no proper rulers, a rule where anarchy prevails, a rule sans justice. In other words, the words Sengol and Kadungol and Kodungol are not related to the ruler but related to the rule itself, the rule per se and the dispensation of justice, dispensation of whatever is required by the citizens. And if we see when Karnagi demands justice, the king says, we had to punish your husband because he was a thief. For which the king says, Kalvanai koral kadungol andru. Killing or punishing a thief is not kadungol. So here what do we get? It is not related to the individual king, but then it is related to the act of rendering justice. And subsequently, when Karnagi proves with her anklet that her husband was faultless, the very moment Ilanka Vadikal, the author of the epic, says, the Sengol, which was installed next to the Pandya king, it fell down on its own. Sengol talarndadu, talarnda kudayan, talarnda sengolan. Nobody kind of uninstalled the Sengol there. At the very moment of Kannagi proving herself and proving her husband to be guilt-free. The Sengol fell. So we now find the Sengol is not important because it is an instrument, but it is important because it is an instrument of justice. So Sengol indicates justice and Sengol is not indicative of the king or the queen or the system of monarchy. We call it the Rajdand and that is where the problem comes because it's associated with the word Raj. It is also the Niti Dand, which means the rod of justice. It is the rod by which justice is rendered. And if we go into the word Raj itself, the Raj, the Raj will mean the nation, the Raj will mean the country, or Raja will mean the king. But then, what is the root word for this word Raja or Raj or the king? Rijyati iti rajan. Rijyati will mean to straighten, to keep things straight. We know Sanskrit should have had a proto word which belongs to the same family. This proto word would have meant to straighten, to keep things straight. So, one who keeps things straight becomes a Raja. It is not that the Raja keeps things straight. But whoever does the Rijyati becomes the Raja. And keeping what straight? Keeping justice, keeping, you know, the rule straight. So we find it is the rule which gives rise to the Raja. And it is not because the Raja that this has come. So in other words, keeping things straight, keeping justice straight, rendering justice the right way, the straight way, the forthright way, is what the same goal implies. And this is a civilizational value, a value that the Tamil tradition respects, regards very highly. And this is related to all the Tamil literary works that we find 
Thiruvalluvar talks about Sengur and we all know Thiruvalluvar was favoring equal justice to everyone. So that way, Sengol is indicative of justice. It is of course called the Raj Dand, but then it is also called the Niti Dand, and it is a rod of justice and not a plain rod which indicates someone's position or someone's individual alignment.